Let's do this, baby. I'm halfway through my, what one of my mentors from years ago taught me. It's called a wealth workout. And uh, man, whenever I do it, I feel so much better. And uh, then, and, and I did it for like, like a month straight and just started rocking it. And then like the next month I like stopped doing it because it's so easy to do and it's so simple to do. And so therefore it's simple not to do. And so, but when I did it, and, and here's how I felt right before I started implementing this. It was like, have you ever felt like, man, this year just kind of looks like last year with lipstick on it. It's like, I set these goals and these targets and I really want to achieve them and I really intend to. And if you asked me if I was totally committed, I would say, of course, yes, I'm totally committed. And meanwhile, there's this fear in the back that's like, man, you didn't do it last year when you said it. You didn't do it the year before that when you said it. What makes you think you're actually gonna do it this year? Are you really gonna do it this year? Maybe you're not. Why don't you ever? Why don't you always do it? Why don't you always follow through when you say you're gonna do something? Like, it's one thing if you just flippantly say, you know, I'm gonna do this. It's another thing if you make commitments, agreements, write it down in your journal, sign it, agree to yourself, make investments, spend money towards it, and then you still don't achieve it. And it's like, man, why? What? Maybe I just need some more personal development work. Maybe I just need to go spend more money. Maybe I need to go to more seminars. I'm not saying there's anything against seminars. I mean, I've spent hundreds of thousands on on seminars, training, education, all that cool stuff. It's fine, it's great, but none of that stuff's gonna do anything. Not even your wealth walk or your wealth workout, none of that's gonna do it. What's gonna do it is, you know what, I'm actually gonna go back this way. <laughs> What's gonna do it is when you stop coming from the energy right now of wanting it but not having it. It's when you clearly identify the path in front of you that you need to stay on over the next year and you mark the checkpoints of where they need to be and you do make agreements and maybe you do make investments. Oops. <laughs> and maybe you do make agreements. Maybe you do make investments. Maybe you do go to personal training seminars and do everything that you can do. But it's where are you coming from right now and then right now and then right now and then right now. I mean, is your hair just beautifully parted down this just just beautifully done right now if yes then you need to go on Facebook live you need to tell people some of your stuff no <laughs> I'm just kidding um, anyway what's up Nick Jensen dude Nick Jensen I'm in Austin right now hit me up I might be coming back through I might not I'm on a little tour right now of the of the countryside and uh, I guess you could call it a personal development trip <laughs> anyway uh, by the way for those of you who know the importance I'm not trying to make you dizzy right now I promise for those of you who understand the importance of deep sharp clarity put your clothes on <laughs> Nick you dude you are you are a little you are a little shyster buddy hey call me back anyway not right now though, I'm doing Facebook Live. No, listen, if you know that, that clarity, if you had more clarity, you'd be able to just pierce through the resistance. If you know that you had a sharper tuning fork to tune yourself with, to tune your, your frequency with, your regular, normal emotions, okay? Yeah, that's right, Nick. That's right, Nick. You're gonna see this, this fair body. You're gonna see... <laughs> No, um, but uh, if you know that you need that that tuning, like if you ever played a guitar and the tuning's just slightly off, or a piano, the tuning's slightly off, and it's like you hear the music, you hear the sound of it, and you're just kind of like, eh, eh, it's just a little off, just a little off. Man, that little teeny bit of off, that little bit of dissonance inside those 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 waves those sound waves is the difference between you popping i mean you just blowing up and you just kind of having this year look like last year with lipstick on it 
And there's a certain percentage of you watching who know that, who've realized that. You've maybe already spent tens of thousands on personal development. Your income's already at 10K a month. But you haven't hit it to 20 consistently for three months straight. You might have hit it one time during a competition when you got lucky and you couldn't figure out how to get it back. But I'm talking about making it the new normal. What I've, uh, what I've set aside for you is uh, some resources over at keyplayer.life. And with that, you'll be able to get some really deep, powerful insights, but also an opportunity to, in the future, um, to actually just like reach out and have a conversation that will get you so much clarity that your, your, your whole vibe will literally shift in one conversation and then you'll be in super flow for like probably two weeks. <laughs> and you'll have the ability to actually maintain that because it, it's sourced in you. If I talk to you on the phone, I'm going to guide you. I'm going to ask you probing questions. I'm going to help you address and confront some things that are in the way currently for you of being in super flow. Um, and yet, it's you who's going to source it. You're the one who's going to be the source of that. Well, when I say you, what I mean is God. That's what I mean. <laughs> I mean the universe through you, okay? Because I've been personally really searching for answers on, man, what is, what is my real relationship with God? What is my real relationship with source? What is my real relationship with universe? And the more that I study and the more that I exercise faith and practice and do the things I know to do, do the things that work for me, and that I, I realize more for me that what God is, is that consciousness. It's the ability to shift perspective. That's what God is. And so it's God doing it through you. I'm not going to take the credit. <laughs> but anyway, all right. Nick, you're making me laugh. Monica, what's going on? Hey, you who's watching this, get yourself absolutely clear on precisely what you want. Put in place a strategy, a plan that will lay out the path, that will show you where you need to be at each given day of the year on the path, each checkpoint on a, on a weekly and monthly basis, and then do, and then today, practice being in the present moment today, coming from where you need to come from, being who you need to be right now, and then right now. There's not gonna be an energy of, I want this, I want this. That's not the energy. If that's your energy, you're gonna have to look a little deeper. The energy is, I'm grateful that I'm creating this. I'm grateful that I have this. Uh, and you're looking for the things you do have. You're not just like saying an affirmation loosely, but you're looking for evidence of where you did take action yesterday, last week, last month, and the results that you did get, the evidence that you do have. All right? Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Peace. I'm going to ClickFunnels.